This is the Gaumont British News, presenting the truth to the free peoples of the world. After four years of German occupation, it was announced that Paris had been liberated. But that good news turned out to be too good to be quite true. In parts of Paris, there were still Germans who had not surrendered, and they put up a stiff battle. One such was the Chamber of Deputies. Last, a German officer appeared with a white flag, seeking terms of surrender for some hundreds of German soldiers inside. Approaching Paris from the southwest was the 2nd French Armoured Division under General Leclerc. They were racing onto their beloved city to relieve the hard-pressed French forces of the interior, whose rising had all but overthrown their conquerors of 1940. many brushes with groups of Germans still holding out. General de Gaulle returned to Paris. At Montparnasse station he greeted French officers who had played a prominent part in the city's liberation. One of the important ceremonies to be performed by de Gaulle on this day was the laying of a wreath at the tomb of France's unknown soldier at the Arc de Triomphe. Paris life has been hidden from the world for four years, hidden behind a screen of German lies and collaborationist corruption. Today the free world may see Paris again, and Paris rejoins the free world. There were soldiers of the British Empire here on this historic day. Tuileries Gardens, fountains were playing for the first time since 1940. And so, from the Arc de Triomphe, down the famous Champs-Élysées to the Place de la Concorde, Frenchmen walk again in their own lovely city. They have no need to fear the swoop of the Gestapo for innocent hostages to be murdered. They are free to read the world's news as it is, to listen to any radio without risk of dying for it, free to live and laugh. There seems to be only one Frenchman here today who does not find in his heart a cause to smile. Another great crowd in the Place de la Concorde. General de Gaulle was to visit the Hotel de Ville, 
the headquarters of the government of Free France and Notre Dame Cathedral for a Thanksgiving service. He was in these places, German snipers and French fascists opened fire. Through this war you could expect only the unexpected. This for the triumphant return of Frenchmen to their brothers released from bondage. This for the day when Paris emerged from the shadows. There were tears and terror mingling with cheers and laughter. Death cracked his whip among the happy sightseers who welcomed the coming of a new life.